What's up guys, Nick here from Era12Gaming, back in Forza Motorsport 5 with another build. Now, when I was doing my live streams last week, I saw a lot of comments to do a drift build on a G-Class. But, you know, our buddy Tomcat, he did a drift build on a G-Class, so I'm like, alright. He did one on one of those, so I'm like, alright, what, what, what can I do to make it even more ridiculous? Well, I, I could put a jelly tune on a G-Class. Eh, yeah. why not? I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> Alright, so I must admit I already did do this build once before, and for whatever reason the file got corrupted. I went to edit it and it disappeared, which was wonderful. So anyways, I do already have the car built, and I have tried driving it once, and it's quite difficult. These things, they're a huge truck, right? They're hard to drift anyways, but once you add a jelly tune to it it just makes it oh it's, it's ridiculous anyways uh, i'll show you the build here that i put on it i just tried to get pretty much as much power as i can also i found a slight glitch i'm not sure if it's a glitch actually but check this out so the stock back on the car is the one with the extra t extra wheel on the back now if you go to the one over here mercedes and it says like remove wing there's no wing on the actual car and it doesn't actually do anything but i assume it removes that tire or should remove that tire and it, I think it's glitched. I don't know. Turn 10? Is that glitched? I don't know. Anyways, I didn't want the tire on the back, so I just went with this, even though it puts a funny little wing on the top there. Anyways, yeah, this is how to make a jelly car. So what you want to do as per upgrades, do whatever upgrades you would normally do on your regular drift car. Body mods, doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. And then everything else, just do the way you would normally build one of your drift cars. So... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it with, with one of these because you'll, you're going to see what's going to happen. It's going to be quite difficult. Sorry, got interrupted. Anyways, yeah, what I was saying is just, just throw on your normal uh, drift upgrades, whatever you want you wh or whatever you usually do. Anyways, yeah, I want to talk about this car a little bit. This car is a car that's that's really hard to drift anyways. And when I tried adding the jelly to it, it's, it's really hard. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to soldier on and do it anyways because it was quite funny but um yeah i have given this car a little name i named my car this is the first car i've named in forza and i called it the jelly g ah, yeah very clever <laughs> it's like my rapper's drift car jelly drift car yeah hella jelly g that's what this car is it's freaking awesome so yeah, anyways, I just threw on all the power upgrades. I'm not going to go through each one. But um, yeah, all those are on. Anyways, for how you want to build your actual drift car, tires do what you would normally do. We may need to change it around here uh, for this car because this car is a little difficult. Just a little bit. <laughs> Gears do what you normally do. Alignment do what you normally do. We may need to adjust it for this because this is going to be heavy. Uh, Anti-roll bars, as soft as they can go. As for your springs, again, as soft as they can go. Ride height. Uh, I recommend max ride height. You can do it with the minimum ride height, but it just doesn't look as good. Anyways, dampening, soft, 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 soft. Aero, don't touch that. Braking, do what you normally do. And diff, I recommend locking it up. Anyways, let's head over to prog with this thing and give it a little, give it a little shot. I may need to mess around with the tune, but anyways, let's see what it can do. Alrighty, so we're on prog with our hella jelly G such a good name and this may be a little let's fail i'm predicting that now because i tried this once and it didn't go very well i also tried doing an f-150 that was even worse even or even more difficult i should say all right get our camera fixed oh 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 i nearly rolled i didn't even glitch <laughs> if this i don't understand how this doesn't roll last time when i was doing this it nearly rolled the front wheel um, you know how the back wheel, it, uh, but like front wheel drive cars cock a back wheel sometimes when they're going around corners quickly? This cocks front wheels. Yeah, I don't understand that either, but it does. Oh my god, it did it just then! And when it does do it, I can't turn. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. Lovely. Thank you. All right. Yeah, when it does do that, I can't turn at all. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. 
Why are you going backwards? We'll call that a 360. I meant to do that, all right? I did kind of predict Let's Fail, just putting that out there. I would like to see someone actually drift this thing, though. Because this thing is so ridiculous. It is so soft. Probably, if I did want to actually drift this thing and I wasn't screwing around, I would put a stiffer tune on it. Even, like, like, a, like a soft, like a jelly tune, but a little softer. This is just, obviously, the full-on extreme. When you have a... What was the final weight of this? I think it was 4,700 pounds for this. Oh! The f yeah. And it just doesn't work. I, like I said, I did an F-150 as well. That was even worse than this. Hard to believe, but it's true. That thing, I think, was 5,000 or 6,000 pounds. That thing didn't move. What makes it so difficult is as soon as you get your drift going like that, so much weight is on that side of the car, it is impossible to adjust. Like... I'm doing everything in my power, and it just doesn't doesn't do anything. It's really difficult. It's really difficult. I want to see someone who can actually drift this, but I, I I really don't think it's possible. This thing is too heavy. It's already a difficult drift car to begin with, right? Like I was saying before, it's a difficult drift car because it's a big truck, right? But when you mess around with the weight, as much as I did, and I make all that weight go onto the one side and a big part of drifting is weight transfers yeah doesn't work doesn't work but i would like I, I would love to see if anyone can actually drift it i'm sure some of you guys can i'm sure some of you guys are better drifters than me try out this tune try out this tune on this car let me know how it goes because i i'm sure it's possible but oh not for me <laughs> not for me though <laughs> yeah I don't think I could do it. Maybe with some practice? But that weight is so unpredictable. Well, it's predictable in the sense that as soon as you start a drift, guess what? That's where you're going. You're not trying. There you go. Perfect example of that right there. Going around the right corner, all the weight on that right side. I try to go left. No. Nope. Doesn't work. But anyways, guys, hope you've enjoyed this quick little video on the Jelly G. Hopefully that's helped some of you guys build some of your drift tunes. So yeah, what you want to do is just max your ride height out. Make all your suspension as as soft as possible. It's just, it's essentially... Some people were asking what is a jelly car, body roll drifter, that lean car, everything like that. It's all essentially the same thing. It's just cars with really soft suspension that um, that go sideways, pretty much. Or, or, or in this car's case, not so sideways. But um, yeah... Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, click that subscribe button down below. Share it with some of your friends. And also, if you want to see me do any other ridiculous builds that I may or may not be able to actually drive, uh, let me know those in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.